Hi, welcome to this tutorial in which you're going to get a chance to practice some questions on fractional powers or rational powers. And remember this is non-calculator, so I've written down two rules that you'll need for these first four question, uh, three questions. There are nine questions in total. So if you'd like to pause and have a go at the questions and then come back and have a look. I'm about to start them now. The first question, we've got 625 raised to the power of um, a quarter. So we're going to use rule number one, uh, which is a to the power of 1 over n equals the nth root of a. So in this case, n is 4, so it's the fourth root of 625, um, which looks uh, challenging, but it's not that bad. Um, because it ends in 5, you can divide it by 5, and if you do so, you'll get 625 is 5 times 125. And if you divide again by fi 125 by 5, you get 5 times 5 times 25. And 25 is 5 times 5. So you're getting 5 times 5, times 5 times 5. Okay, so you <coughs> it's basically 5 to the power of 4. So you're multiplying 5 by itself 4 times to get 625. So the fourth root means what number would you multiply by itself 4 times to get 625? Well, the answer is 5. The only thing I advise you to do is to learn that 25 times 25, 25 squared in other words, is 625. It's quite useful also for the square root of 625, which is 25. Okay? Did you manage that one? I hope so. This one here, we're going to use rule number 2, uh, where m is 2 and n is 3. So it's the cube root. The n, th n stands for the roots. So it's the cube root of 125 and then we've got to square it, the m is a 2, in rule number 2 on the right. This cube root of 1 to 5, uh, 5 times 5 times 5 is 1 to 5, so that's 5, and then we've got to square it. 5 squared is 25. Be careful not to put 10 for an answer. The next one, same rule, rule number 2, um, n is 5, so it's the fifth root, of a hundred thousand all raised to the power of two. Um, I'm hoping you spot that there are five zeros there so a hundred thousand is ten to the power of five. So you're multiplying f ten by itself five times to get a hundred thousand. So the fifth root would be ten and then you've got to square it which will give you a hundred. Okay? Did you manage that? I hope so. The next lot, uh, first one, number four, um, we want to evaluate that, and then number five, we're going to simplify. Again, I've written the rules that you may need uh, to attend this question, so if you'd like to pause, have a go, and then come back. Okay? I'm about to do them now. The first one has a negative power. So rule number one um, tells us that if you have a to the negative n, we don't really need those brackets at all, um, then it's 1 over a to the power of n. So this would be equal to 1 over 8 to the power of 4 thirds. Then we use rule number 2 on the denominator. n is 3, so it's a cube root of 8, and then we've got to raise it to the power of m, which is 4. Okay? And the cube root of 8... 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8, so it's 1 over 2 to the power of 4. Cube root of 8 is uh, 2. And 2 to the power of 4 means multiply 2 by itself um, 4 times. Well, we know that 2 cubed is 8, so 2 to the power of 4 would be 16. So the answer is 1 over 16. Or one... Okay, the next one we have to simplify because there's algebra involved. 
we'll use rule number uh, two. Okay, so n is four, so it's the fourth root of 625 y to the power of 8 all of it raised to the power of 3 so we're cubing the answer now the fourth root of 625 we already met I'm using these numbers again to help you so you can practice them and remember them it's 5 and what about sorry the fourth root of 625 is 5 what's the fourth root of y to the power of 8 well, you may or may not remember in one of the tutorials, I told you to divide the 8 by the 4. So you end up getting a y squared. But if that doesn't appeal to you, then go back to the basics. y to the power of 8. Fourth root means power of a quarter. 8 lots of a quarter is 2. And that's where the y squared comes from. And then I've got to cube that. Uh, be careful not to do 5 times 3, it's 5 cubed, which is 1, 2, 5. And y squared to the power of 3, we're using rule number 3 there. a to the power of m to the power of n is a to the power of m times n. So you multiply the 2 by the 3, and you get y to the power of 6, and that would be the answer. Okay? The next lot we're going to evaluate again, and I've written down four rules there that we could use. If you'd like to pause, uh, have a go and then come back and see how you've done. Okay, uh, the first one, uh, it's a fraction and it has a negative power. In one of the tutorials I showed you how to use rule number one, where if you have a fraction to a negative power, you uh, turn the fraction upside down, so you get a 625 divided by 81 and you raise it to a positive power. The power becomes positive when you turn it upside down. And then we go to rule uh, number 2 uh, where n is equal to 4 and m is 3. So it's the fourth root of 625 divided by 81 and then we've got to cube that answer. And nearly there, the fourth root of 625 is 5, and the fourth root of 81, well, if you think about 81 being 9 times 9, and 9 is 3 squared times 3 squared, you get 3 to the power of 4. So you multi the fourth root means what number do you multiply by itself 4 times to give you 81? Well, the answer is 3. So you end up in the denominator uh, with a 3, and then you've got to cube that. And 5 cubed is 1, 2, 5, and 3 cubed is 27. If you want to write as a mixed number, you can, but usually that's good enough in examinations or assessments. Okay? That was a bit more challenging. I wonder how you got on. I hope you did well in it. This next one, um, I'm going to do it two different ways. The first way is to think about what the fourth root means. The fourth root of 6, 2, 5 cubed means it's to the power of a quarter. Then I'm now going to use rule number four where we can interchange the powers because basically to simplify this you'd multiply them together. So I'm going to write 625 to the power of a quarter and then I'm going to cube it instead of doing it the other way around. Because to work out 625 cubed and then find the fourth root is quite um, uh, a, ta a, ta a difficult task, not easy to do. So now we know that the f uh, quarter means fourth root of 6 to 5, and then we're going to cube that. And the result, a fourth root of 6 to 5, again you've met already, it's 5, so you've got to cube the 5, and you get 1, 2, 5. So that's one way forward, because remembering formulas is not easy. So what's the second way? It's to use the formula um, which I've written down for you, number three. This one here. So what do I do? Well, you come back to the original question. You can see n is four and m is three. So it's telling you to take the nth root of a to the power of m. So in other words, you can go straight from there to this situation here. 
if you remember the formula. And from then on, I've already shown you how to do that. Okay? Now, pause again, have a go, and then come back. I've gone over the 10 minutes, but I haven't got a choice really. I'd like to finish this. There's a mixed number, so we need to first of all change that mixed number to a top heavy fraction or improper fraction. Uh, well, two units is the same as 54 27ths, or 27 times 2 is 54 plus 10 is 64. Um, it's 64 over 27 a to the power of 12 all of it raised to two-thirds but it's better written um, not that it really matters it's as 64 a to the power of 12 over 27 to the power of two-thirds and then we'll use rule number one and the n is 3, so it's the cube root of the fraction 64, a to the power of 12, divided by 27. All of it to the power of 2. So we're going to square it. The cube root of 64 is 4. The cube root of 27 is 3. What about the cube root of a to the power of 12. We just divide the 12 by the 3 and we get a to the power of 4. And then we've got to square it and if we do that 4 squared is 16. a to the power of 4 squared is rule 3. You multiply the powers so it's a to the power of 8 and 3 squared is 9 and that would be the answer. No need to write as a mixed number. Okay? How did you manage? How did you do on that one? Well, it's a bit more challenging, of course. The next one, we have a fraction and a negative power. So we start with rule number two, where we turn it upside down. So we get 49y squared over 25a to the 8y, sorry, x to the power of 4, all of it, and we, once you've turned it upside down, you uh, make the power positive. Then we go to rule number 1, and the n is 2, so it is a square root of 49y squared over 25, a to the power of 8, x to the power of 4, and then we're going to cube that. Okay? The square root of 49 is 7. Square root of y squared, you divide 2 by 2, you get 1. And square root of 25 is 5. The square root of a to the power of 8, divide 8 by 2, you get 4. Okay? And then the square root of x to the power of 4, if you divide 4 by 2, you get 2. We still haven't finished yet. We've got to cube that. Um, and if we cube seven, uh, sorry, we've got a cube seven, which is three, four, three. You just have to work that out on the side. And y to the power of three, all over five cubed is one, two, five. A to the power of four cubed is using rule three. You multiply four by three, you get twelve. And finally, x squared to the power of three again, rule three. Two times three is six. So you get x to the power of 6. And that was challenging. Well, I hope you managed all those questions. If you didn't, you can go back and see how I've done them and try them again without looking to see if you can succeed. Thanks for listening. On to the next uh, tutorial, take care. I hope you found it useful.